Welcome to the Ad Canvas and Display and Video 360, a visual first workflow that gives you an easy way to build creatives on the fly. In this video, you'll learn how to construct a new creative using the Ad Canvas, make edits to your creative such as swapping out your logo and headline in real time, as well as making a variant of your creative. When you make a new creative, you'll choose a format. For this example, let's start with Panorama, a three card swipe format. We've just made a new creative, which brings us to the Ad Canvas. The Ad Canvas is split into three sections, the Assets panel, where you'll make edits, the Canvas, where you'll see a real-time preview of your design, and lastly, the Action Toolbar along the top of the Canvas. We'll focus on creating simple creatives using built-in templates. However, for those of you who want full creative control, you can go to the Toolbar, click Replace Layout, then upload a custom HTML file from Google Web Designer. Let's begin by giving our creative variant a name. This name will be used to identify the variant in reporting, so make sure it's unique. Next, let's add some assets to our creative. In this three-frame template, there's room for a logo, background image, and three accent images. Add an image by dragging and dropping a file from your computer into the asset field you want to use, or simply click Upload. For the purpose of this demo, let's imagine you're helping the fictional brand Sabom raise awareness for a new skincare line. You can now see a live preview of your creative with the assets you just uploaded. You can also click the navigation controls in the creative on the canvas to move between frames. Next, let's add some text to our creative. Expand the text panel to add a tagline. As you type, the layout detects the length of your content and auto-fits the text within the frame of your creative. When typing, you can see exactly what your creative will look like. The live preview will help you tailor your content to fit with your design. Note this section also contains the call to action landing page URLs, as well as styling for these elements. All fields in Google's creative templates are optional. By mixing and matching creative assets, you can create design variations that have a distinct look and feel. To add some color, open the style section and choose a palette to complement your assets. Try adjusting the opacity to get more subtle effects with a text and background overlay. In a future update, all text fields will include rich formatting options such as choosing different fonts, textile, alignment, and more. Okay, you've successfully created your first variant. This next step is optional but extremely powerful. For teams that would like to experiment with different variations of their creative, Ad Canvas lets you do that by simply making additional variants. A variant is a different creative version of your ad. For example, you might have one ad that focuses on someone using your product and another focus on the design of the product itself. Let's try it. Upon clicking Make a Copy, a new variant appears with the same assets, text, and styling as the original. Now you can begin editing this new variant to make it unique. Let's go back to the asset panel and change the background image to a different product. You can repeat this process as many times as you like. Don't forget to rename your variant to something meaningful, so you don't have to remember which creative was which when you're looking at campaign reports. To do this, simply select the checkbox of each variant you want to change. The Assets panel will adjust to display whatever values are in the variant selected. Because both of the selected variants share the same logo image, you see the name of the shared logo image in the Assets panel. Since they have different accent images, the Assets panel will display mixed values. If you upload a new background image while both variants are selected, the same background image is set for both variants. Let's make a couple more variants with different assets. If you ever feel there are too many variants on your canvas to look at at once, you can filter to the exact variant you like to edit. In the Action Toolbar, the Filter Control opens a panel with a list of all your variants by name. Select the variants you like to see on your canvas. Only the variants that appear on the canvas and are selected will get edited. One last exciting feature of the Ad Canvas is our list view. 
List View shows all of your variants in an editable spreadsheet, allowing you to create and edit a large number of variants more efficiently. In List View, each row is a variant, and each asset or style setting in your creative is a column. Each value of your content will appear as a specific cell within the table. Hover over the value you like to change and click on the pencil icon to edit. To change assets, you can also drag and drop to a specific cell or upload directly. Each variant selected in the table will appear in the Quick Preview section below. Like Canvas View, all changes you make in List View will update in real time. For a larger preview of your creative, you can drag to resize a Quick Preview panel and zoom to see your variants at full scale. Any changes you make here will immediately appear in the Visual Canvas mode as well. To learn more about creating compelling creatives with Display and Video 360, visit our Help Center, where you can find ad specs, best practices, and more.